pen. Oh boy. Oh, well, there's that Jeep again that I keep thinking is dad. That's weird. Yeah, I forgot about that back. <sighs> Me and Casey had a outdoor, oh geez. Me and Casey had an outdoor movie night yesterday where um, I just took, uh, I took the projector and I uh, threw it up on the side of the garage and uh, we spent, um, I think it was like 11 o'clock when we actually finally came back inside. Casey's going back home for spring break, uh, at least just for a couple days before we uh, get going to uh, Omaha. Um, so she's leaving today. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning right now. I don't know. I think it's seven. She's got like a four hour drive ahead of her. So I thought it would be nice if before she left, I made her some breakfast. Gonna make her, ugh, gonna make her some hash browns and, and an egg before she takes off. Cause I won't get to see her for a mm, couple days. I don't know what I'm gonna do over these next couple days, honestly. Yeah, ignore the mess of stuff. Uh, yesterday I cooked that blue apron meal and uh, did it really. I'm gonna need like caffeine or something. Oh my gosh. Well, I got the house to myself for a couple days. I feel like that's gonna be really fun for like the first day, and by tomorrow, I'm really gonna start to miss her. Don't got a lot to do. In, in fact, on my plate, I have nothing right now. Um, it's been a while since I actually streamed anything. Well, like, I used to stream a lot on Twitch, but I don't know, something... I guess something about this year is like hanging out with Casey, uh, midterms, and trying to put out more, uh, videos. I just haven't played a video game in forever. Like, I wanted to get on today and stream some, uh, some more of the, like, The Last Guardian, because Rico lended me his copy, and I was like, yeah, like, it's just fun, and I wanted to try it out, but the internet's down right now, so... I know Dad at one point said he wanted to stop by this weekend and take a look at my sink, or in the kitchen sink, because it is now draining, but it, it still fills up just a little bit. It's better to be looked at now than later when it's, you know, actually overflowing. Uh, I think I want to run into town and get some groceries, just because I'm going to be staying here for a couple days. want to make sure I have food to eat. Something I really wasn't planning on doing today, but uh, then I came outside and was like, actually that's probably a really good idea, is uh, cut the grass. My yard really needs it. I didn't cut it right before the fall, when I should have, when everything is dead. So everything's kind of just a little overgrown. Yeah, I need to cut that and need to cut that. Yeah, let's do that today. Why not? Clean up the yard. Now all I have to do is make sure this thing still starts and turned on in a couple months. one of Owen's old toys. Yeah, I need to start working out again. How big were your muscles used to be? Uh, I never had big muscles. <laughs> Surprising. Yeah, show me yours. Do this. Flex. Flex. Holy crap. No, you do not need a workout. 
suppose I, I came over here to say something, and it's been five minutes, I can't remember. I really like cutting the grass. Cutting the grass was something that my dad made me do at home. It was it was really fun for a good majority of the uh, of the year. Really? You get paid five bucks. You just randomly said that? I got paid 20 whenever I did the It wasn't this size, it was, uh, it, was a little bit, it was a little bit bigger. Luckily, I had a riding lawnmower back then. Now all I got is a push mower, which, push mower works for this yard, but it just takes forever. Show them your eyes. You should probably do that. What? Show them your eyes. Parker wants me uh, wants me to show you my eyes. I mean, I know they're dreamy and like full of milk chocolate, but. He randomly shouted, you have a pretty face to somebody <laughs> yesterday. Oh, girl. Nice. She did have a cute face. Is that what you did to get her? What, they get Casey? Yep. Yeah. No. You guys gonna have kids? What? Yeah, you guys threw a frisbee on my roof. I gotta take care of it. I didn't throw the frisbee on the roof. Shoot I did And you're going to videotape yourself doing it? Yeah. Fail. Very bad fail. There you go. Eh. Watch this. That was In the fail. dirt. That's right. had those days where you just have this thing that happens and you just start thinking about it. The more you think about it, the more angry you are. Moments where you, like it's all you think about. It, it infests your ideas, your thoughts, your daily actions. That was happening to me today when I was mowing. Like I just started thinking about this one thing. If I could give any piece of like relatable advice that I would like to pass on to you guys, it's don't hold on to that. Don't hold on to that feeling of don't hold on to those feelings of anger. It's best just to get those out of your life as soon as possible. The best way to do it is to confront the problem. Whatever you're dealing with, fix that and you can move on. It's one of those situations where you have to swallow your pride and come to a conclusion that you find acceptable. It's always better to deal with the problem. But if for some reason the problem can't be dealt with or the problem just keeps but whether you deal with the problem or not, if you're still feeling upset, you need to channel that in a way that gets that out of your system. People deal with stress in a variety of different ways, but I still say the best way to deal with it is to get outside and do some exercise. Run, walk, jog, lift, whatever. Do yard work, things that make your body sweat, things that make your body ache after a long day's work. I'm just trying to describe how like, I feel like this emotion of anger and negativity, and if I just hold on to it, it'll start to corrupt my life. Where if I go out on a run, or I go outside and climb trees, or go out and film something, do whatever, I get those emotions and those feelings, I get them out of my body, and I'm able to, I know this sounds really hippy-dippy, but find an inner peace. Who knows, this may all sound like mumbo jumbo to you, which I can't blame you because I'm really terrible at doing inspirational speeches? Not speeches. Inspirational talks? I'm terrible at that stuff. But it would be really hard to convince me that it's better to live your life angry than it is happy.
here's some helpful advice. Oh, there we go. I bet you guys can't tell the difference, but trust me, there's a difference. Bit of helpful working advice. You can get these pickles in a pouch, which is, it's literally just a pickle. It's just a pickle in a pouch. That's all it is. I don't know why. I'm not even going to try to explain the like science behind it, but my father used to get a bunch of these when I was a kid. I wasn't really a fan of them back then, but as I got older and the more times I went outside and actually did things, these things are amazing. Like, I throw these up here on the same level as water. It rehydrates you. If you're exhausted, it gets you back up to where you were. Or if you're like me right now and you're hungry, this will at least hold you over until you get back to town. That, and you get pickle juice. Pickle juice is sometimes the best part for some people and the worst part of others. Me, I go back and forth. Today I'm a pickle juice is good kind of guy.